Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be doing a spoiler-free review of Shadow Sands by Robert Prizenda, and this is the second book in the Kate Marshall series. So if you haven't read the first one, click out of this video. Um, it will kind of spoil some of the stuff that happens in the first one, but I'm not going to spoil any of the things that happen in this one. So if you've read the first one, you're going to be okay. But basically the premise of this series is that it follows a former police officer named Kate Marshall who 15 years ago was involved in the um, Nine Elms uh, cannibal, um, I guess, investigation. And she was the one who ended up um, capturing the killer. And so what should have been a, a tremendous moment in her career ended up being the worst moment in her entire life because the media ended up tearing her apart because she ended up having a affair with the killer before, you know, she figured out who he was and she ended up having a kid with them so that kind of makes her world kind of fall apart around her and so 15 years after the fact she's still put it, putting together the pieces of herself that she lost from that event and so it kind of takes off from there but now she is a criminology professor at a university and so the premise of this book in particular is Kate is um, scuba diving with her son and they end up stumbling upon a body in the reservoir that they are diving at and so originally this um the body that they found was ruled as an accidental drowning but it was the body of a former um very athletic swimmer he almost made the olympic team and so she thinks something is off so she ends up kind of investigating investigating the kind of reservoir of shadow sands a little bit more and she finds out there has been a string of disappearances and bodies found in the reservoir and it kind of goes off from there but i was super excited for this book i read nine elms earlier this year so i was really excited to have the next installment but what i really love about this author in particular especially with his erica foster series is how incredibly fast-paced this book or his writing style is um i read like the first like the i only read for like a maybe an hour or two and i read 100 pages his chapters are very short so they i feel like they always end on a cliffhanger and you just want to continue reading so it makes for an incredibly fast-paced read and i really had liked that and i think like especially with this book like this series in particular kate is such a complex character she has a lot of demons she's a lot she has a lot of flaws and she's trying to overcome a lot of the um problems that peter caused her with the nine elms murder so she is still kind of dealing with those demons and i really like how complex and flawed she is and just how determined and i feel like life handed her a really bad set of cards but she is kind of using that to like you know she's making the best of it and i really admire that in her this one i feel is like super creepy because we do get the killer's perspective and the way it's written is very creepy and eerie for me in particular i was just like the way it's written i'm not going to spoil kind of what it is but it kind of is like he's watching someone and that like totally creeps me out when you kind of aren't like you know someone's there but you can't necessarily like see them like that is so creepy but i really like how he incorporated that into this one i really enjoyed it. he's done that before with the erica foster series so it's not really necessarily <laughs> new to him but it was still a lot of fun like i said this one was really fast paced and it was just it was more kind of dealing with this like in this one in particular even though it's like a string of murders we're dealing with the most current one which i enjoyed usually um so it was that one was pretty good and my only complaint was is that i did feel like the ending was a tad bit rushed but it did end on an amazing amazing climax like it was just super intense with everything that was going on and i did not guess who the killer was so i feel like i feel like this one stumped me so i feel very good about that but i just feel like it ended too abruptly like we get to the ending and then it just kind of like you know it's like 12 weeks later or whatever so that was my one complaint is that it just ended too soon and i wanted more like i want more with these characters i want to see what kate has in store next and i guess like you know that's what the third book is for so yeah overall i really love this author i love both of his erica foster and kate marshall series so this one did not disappoint it lived up to my 
kind of expectations for it and it was just amazing. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've read this book and what you thought about it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.